Hey, what's up? This is Homjack, and this is some speed flag on Asylum. It's just the beginning, because I got a good spree, but what I want to talk about is Infinity Slayer, which is 343's new version of Slayer for Halo 4. So, on Waypoint, the, the most recent Halo Bulletin talked about Infinity Slayer and cleared up some things that I was confused about. Maybe you had it all figured out, but the article helped me understand it a little better. So, the main thing is that there are two different kinds of weapon drops, or ordnance drops. The first is Infinity Ordnance, which is basically just the new system for weapons appearing on the map. The the thing that's different from previous Halos is that the same weapon won't always spawn in the same place, so there's no such thing as like sniper spawn or rocket spawn. The locations are randomized, you know. The weapons themselves, though, are not completely random. It depends on the map. Like, you'd never, you'd probably never see a sniper rifle dropped on a really close quarters map. Now, the other kind of weapon drop is personal ordnance, which you earn by getting certain medals. This is like when you're watching Halo 4 gameplay and you see it pop up something like assist plus 5 or sword kill plus 10. Those points go toward your personal ordnance and not your team's score. Your team's score is still based just on total kills, and your personal ordnance rewards you individually. So, you're going to get points for things like assists, assassinations, ending someone's killing spree, stuff like that, and once you get enough points, you get your weapon drop. You get to choose one of three items. They could be weapons, grenades, or power-ups, uh, and the power-ups are overshield, and two new ones, damage boost and speed boost. And so the three choices you get are also somewhat random. Again, it might depend on map and game type, but it's not going to be the same three things every time. And then one other thing, it said you won't get the highest tier of weapons, so like rocket launchers and maybe sniper rifles, from personal ordnance. And I think that's good. You don't want to have a ton of power weapons on the map. And so I'm interested to see how these personal ordnance drops will play out. Right now it seems like the power-ups might be a pretty good choice, say, if you're already carrying a power weapon and then you have your primary weapon like a DMR or a battle rifle. But, you know, we'll just have to see, wait and see. So that's some good info about Infinity Slayer. One other thing from the bulletin is there's not going to be any matchmaking update for Reach in July, but they did mention that they're planning on consolidating some playlists in August. Anyway, thank you for watching, and have a nice day.